What's up, fans? It's KP. I am styling at the San Diego Comic Con in one of the biggest displays that you're going to see here. It is the Hasbro booth. And what would any Comic Con be without Transformers? I've got Matt and Eric. These guys are going to show us the latest and greatest uh, from the Transformers series, uh, games, action figures, uh, and more. So right here you have Blaster in his you know, classic G1 style. Um, you know, he hasn't seen the light of day since you know, 1986, so really excited that we could bring him out of the vault for all the great Transformers fans. So You guys have the greatest toy chest ever. <laughs> I, I look at it at, uh, at all the pieces. I'm trying to think uh, uh, where our buddy James would want to start. What else have you got in this case that we want to show off? Also, uh, our Comic-Con Mighty Mug Prowl. Um, this is actually uh, in the great um, vinyl style. I think does a wonderful job of bringing this G1 character to life. And again, it's really that high-end collectible that kid, people have really latched onto. So We've seen a lot of the fans on the other side of the looking glass uh, checking out this. And you can, I think you can tell about how popular things are by how many fingerprints we have on the, on the back side of the case. Now, you guys have a new game out too, right? That's right, War for Cybertruck. Uh, available on most of your bigger platforms, the big platforms, the Xbox. Uh, we got it on the Wii, we got it on uh, PlayStation 3 as well. So, all the stuff. It's good. It's a fun game. And then you got the, the action figures that tie to the game? Yeah, so, uh, you know, one of the great partnerships we had with Activision, who's actually released it, um, was being able to make sure that those figures could translate into action figures. Uh, so, I think the great job that our designers and our design team has done is bringing them to life. So, we have Optimus Prime, Soundwave. Bumblebee and Megatron, um, and I think you know just really when you look at the detail, when you play the game, just how well they fit together is just fantastic. The studio team over at Activision, they did a great job, and High Moon, you know the, the guys that were behind the design, they they they're fans themselves, you know they understand how to make a good Transformer, and actually the translation was not too bad. Uh, you know we we sat down, we worked with our partners at Takara Tomy, and we just we banged it up. You know we figured out a way to make it happen and get as close as possible to the screen accurate version. What do you guys have from Generations? Because right? there's some new stuff coming out from that. That's right. Up on the top shelf here, we got uh, six figures. And, uh, you know, everybody from Autobot Drift, Dark Mount, Blur, Red Alert, Dirge, and Thrust. Uh, the fans have been waiting a long time for us to finish up the Seekers lineup, too. So these two characters right here are going to be a hot ticket. Well, the line looks great. And, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, again, I'm just not sure where to begin as, as a Transformers fan. I mean, I, I, and I hate to ask, is there anything else new here at the show this year? Yeah, actually, we, we can talk about the Power Core Combiners a little bit, too. It's a, it's a new series that we're putting out, and it's, uh, we're just kind of reimagining how to, how to play with Combiners. And the whole system is based on, uh, we have two packs, and then we have five packs. So the two packs are based on a, a scout-sized figure with a Minicon who powers them up. And then the five packs are obviously five guys, and the middle guy is a, a commander version, and he has four drones that automatically transform when you plug them on. So it's real fun for the kids. We wanted to find a simple way that they can enjoy the complicated nature of uh, combiner play. Here we have Skyburst and the aerial bots. So one of the things that we wanted to do is uh, take some uh, famous historical characters and, or uh, rather, historical teams, and then give them a new, a new life and new characters. Like uh, you know, Skyburst wasn't originally part of the the, fi the original five aerial bots. So here, here we just kind of made him his own new character, and we're expanding the lineup of all the teams, and we're just kind of saying that there's not just five aerial bots now. Now there's like hundreds. Right, because it depends on the combinations and where your interest lies and, and a lot of the imagination that comes in your own mind. All the, all the toys are interchangeable with each other, so every combiner that we have here, they're, they're all interchangeable parts. Arms, arms are always arms, though. <laughs> legs are always legs. But you can take any leg from any set here and, and swap it out on any character, so you have like Thousands. I can't even do the math right now. But. So you so you couldn't take like a bunch of legs and make like a, like octopus prime or anything. <laughs> exactly. Right, well, although feel free to run with that at the at the next iteration, right? With all the fans that are coming up and fingering up all the nice glass all over here, is, is there any clear winner uh, in uh, in this year's offering that you're seeing from from the hardcore Transformers uh, fans? You know, what? I, I gotta say, everybody I think is latched on to different things. I think everyone's been a big fan of Generations. I think they're really getting excited about the Power Core line. And then, of course, you know, some of our other figures. You know, it's always about 
getting the experience of the transformation. And I think for our design team, the real winning is how can we actually make that enjoyable experience every time. So that's where these guys have just done a knockout job. You heard it here first from the Transformers uh, display here at Hasbro, San Diego Comic Con, more to come. I'm KP, I am Stylin, stylinonline.com. Gotta wait for Lieber to say he's done. He's calling the shots around here. I'm just a pretty face. Look at that uh, Batman was from Zombie Repellents. Go Superman. Evil Dead. Nightcrawler. Nightwing. The Go with Spidey. Superman. Batgirl. Batman. Iron Man. Super Armored Deadpool Man. Captain America. Batman. Thing. Spider Man. Superman. Look at that. Look at Batman. Batman. Flash.